our real goal would be to have multiple vaccines that that show some activity. As the White House pushes for a COVID-19 vaccine by early November, some in the medical community are pushing back, saying that it's simply too soon. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. This comes as UC San Diego Health rolls out a new vaccine trial next week and is seeking participants nationwide. News 8's Heather Hobbs spoke to the trial's lead physician and a participant in another trial about what to expect. And these vaccine trials aren't quick, lasting about eight weeks for two injections with a two year follow up, all with a goal for COVID-19 prevention or treatment. I just thought I could help other people. Stepping up to participate in the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine trial, Jeffrey Isabel lent a helping arm. This one was given in my left upper arm. A shot given to him last week is one of two that the retired registered nurse of 35 years will have. He says it didn't burn and he didn't have any feeling like the flu shot. He gets another injection this month and says a November 1st vaccine rollout date is far too soon. I don't really see, since they just started these trials, how it would be available. Dr. Susan Little of UC San Diego School of Medicine agrees. I don't think that's feasible. I mean, maybe I'll be surprised. That'd be wonderful. Dr. Little leads the AstraZeneca trial that's to start September 8th under the White House's Operation Warp Speed. Like the name implies, go fast. Um, so there are a number of different vaccine trials. After Moderna, AstraZeneca is the second major national trial, both enrolling over 30,000 in America in eight weeks, taking just 1,600 in San Diego, even sending a mobile vaccine clinic bus to Chula Vista, Imperial Beach, and La Mesa to prioritize impacted Latino communities. Rather than asking them to come to us, we decided to take the vaccine study to them. The Chicano Federation issued this statement saying in part, once again, the burden of COVID-19 is falling on communities of color. It is unfair that under Serve communities who have the least access to information are now being targeted to participate in an experimental vaccine. If we can develop antibody, protective antibodies against the spike protein, the hope is that we can prevent infection. The vaccine will be made from an adenovirus, which causes the common cold derived from chimpanzees. It will be a monumental challenge to vaccinate the United States the world. The White House has a goal to deliver 300 million doses of a safe and effective vaccine for COVID-19 by the end of this year or early next year with a reported cost of $8 billion for vaccine development. Heather Hope, News 8.